In January 2024, for the very first time, a human received a microcomputer interface implant in their brain. Yes, you heard that right. We are talking about Neuralink, Elon Musk's ambitious venture that aims to revolutionize the human brain and technology interactions. The future is now and you better be prepared by knowing more about this technology. Neuralink's goal is to enable people to carry out actions merely by concentrating on them without any physical movement required. Their coin-sized device, known as N1, records and processes brain activity, transmitting it to an external device. The external device then interprets this brain activity and carries out the intended action. As we delve into the world of Neuralink, the question arises, are we ready for such a dramatic shift in human-machine interaction? Please subscribe and like the video and let's continue. A brainchild of one of the most innovative minds of our time, Neuralink has been on a relentless pursuit to bridge the gap between the human brain and artificial intelligence. The journey started with the inception of Neuralink in 2016, with a vision to treat neurological disorders, provide a new interface for human-computer interaction, and even achieve symbiosis with artificial intelligence. The company's first major milestone came in the form of a coin-sized device known as N1. This device, designed to be implanted into the human brain, was the first step towards making Musk's vision a reality. The N1 chip records and processes the brain's electrical activity, transmitting this data to an external device. The external device then decodes the patient's brain activity, learning to associate certain patterns with the patient's intended action. This technology opened up a plethora of possibilities, from helping those with paralyzed limbs control computers, to potentially allowing communication through thought, alone. As the company progressed, it faced its fair share of trials and tribulations. In November of 2023, Neuralink raised an additional $43 million in funding, bringing the total raise to over $323 million. This funding round was led by Peter Thiel's Founders Fund, reflecting the faith that investors had in Musk's bold venture. However, Neuralink's journey hasn't been without controversy. The company faced criticism over the alleged mistreatment and extreme suffering of monkeys used in testing. Despite these allegations, Musk remained resolute, emphasizing the potential benefits of the technology and denying any claims of mistreatment. The real game-changer came in January of 2024, when Neuralink successfully implanted the first computer chip in a human brain. This marked a significant advancement in neuroscience and the development of brain-machine interface implants, bringing Neuralink one step closer to launching its first product, telepathy. The journey of Neuralink, like any pioneering venture, has been fraught with challenges and controversies. But it's these very challenges that have pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible, bringing us one step closer to a future where humans and machines can coexist and communicate seamlessly. So, how does this brain chip work? Well, let's dive into it. Neuralink's N1 chip, the size of a coin, is designed to empower individuals to perform actions solely by focusing on them. This technology could be a game changer for patients who are unable to move their bodies. In Neuralink's PRIME study, which stands for Precise Robotically Implanted Brain Computer Interface, subjects undergo surgery to place the N1 device in the part of the brain that governs movement. The chip then records and processes the brain's electrical activity and transmits this data to an external device such as a smartphone or computer. Here's where the magic happens. The external device decodes the patient's brain activity, learning to associate certain patterns with the patient's goal. For instance, if the patient imagines moving a computer cursor up a screen, the software gradually learns to recognize the neural firing pattern associated with this task. Over time, the software becomes so adept at recognizing this pattern that it can execute the task on behalf of the person. The focus of Neuralink's current trial is on helping individuals with paralyzed limbs control devices like computers or smartphones, using what are commonly referred to as brain-computer interfaces. Neuralink's brain-computer interface promises to revolutionize the lives of people with paralyzed limbs. This innovative technology opens up a world of possibilities for those who have previously been limited by their physical abilities. Neuralink isn't the only player in the field of brain-computer interfaces, but it stands out. It's like the maverick in a crowd of conformists, daring to push the boundaries of what we thought possible. Unlike other brain-computer interfaces that are non-invasive and rest outside the head, Neuralink's N1 is fully implanted and wireless. But what truly sets it apart is its ability to target individual neurons, record from thousands of sites in the brain, and recharge its small battery wirelessly. 
It's like having a high-tech command center nestled within your brain, quietly and efficiently orchestrating complex tasks. The N1's unique proposition lies in its potential to produce better outcomes. It's not just about the novelty of controlling devices with your mind, it's about improving the quality of life for people with paralyzed limbs. By focusing its current trial on this demographic, Neuralink is aiming to make a tangible difference in their everyday lives. And let's not forget the N1 is a learning device. It decodes a patient's brain activity, associating certain patterns with the patient's goal. Over time, it recognizes patterns of neural firing that consistently occur while the participant is imagining a task, then it executes the task. It's like having a personal assistant that not only understands your needs, but anticipates them. With great innovation comes great scrutiny. As we delve into the world of Neuralink, it's clear that this revolutionary technology has not been without its share of controversy and concerns. One of the main criticisms Neuralink faces is its lack of transparency. The company received FDA approval for human trials in May 2023 and announced its first human trial in January 2024. However, information about the implant is scarce beyond a brochure aimed at recruiting trial subjects. Neuralink did not register at clinicaltrials.gov, a customary practice that helps other investigators learn about areas related to their research and can improve patient care. This lack of transparency has troubled many in the scientific community. Fellows at the Hastings Center, a bioethics think tank, have criticized Musk's brand of science by press release, advising against relying on someone with a huge financial stake in a research outcome to function as the sole source of information. Another concern is Neuralink's private equity model, a funding strategy that is becoming more common in science. While these firms may strive to do good, they also strive to maximize profits which can conflict with patients' best interests. Critics worry that this model could lead to a situation where only the wealthy have access to enhancements, creating a divide between those who can afford this technology and those who cannot. More immediately concerning is the possibility that the device could prove beneficial for people with disabilities but become unavailable due to loss of research funding. This raises questions about the ethics of scientific research and the need for transparency and equitable access. The controversy surrounding Neuralink prompts us to reflect on the ethics of scientific research and the need for transparency and equitable access. As we navigate the controversy surrounding Neuralink, it's essential to look towards the future. What lies ahead for this groundbreaking technology? Success of the current trail could pave the way for further trials and a new era of neuroscience. However, the road ahead is not without its challenges. The medical community will be watching closely to ensure that Neuralink maintains the highest standards of safety and ethics, particularly given the concerns raised about the company's transparency and private equity model. Failure to do so could result in regulatory roadblocks and loss of public trust. Additionally, Neuralink will need to address concerns about equitable access to its technology. As critics have pointed out, there is a risk that only the wealthy would be able to afford enhancements widening the gap between the haves and the have-nots. Ensuring that the benefits of Neuralink are accessible to all will be a significant challenge but one that is essential to overcome. As we gaze into the future we can't help but question, what could be the impact of Neuralink on our society? The potential of Neuralink's technology is vast and could revolutionize the treatment of neurological disorders such as paralysis, Parkinson's disease. However with great power comes great responsibility. The ethical and societal implications of widespread use of brain-computer interfaces are immense. Will we be able to ensure privacy and security in a world where our brains are connected to machines? Will this technology be accessible to all, or will it create a new divide between the haves and the have-nots? These are questions that we must grapple with as we step into this new era, and let's not forget about the future of human-machine interaction. Neuralink could play a pivotal role in shaping this future. Could we see a world where we communicate with machines just by thinking? Could we enhance our cognitive abilities, memory, and even our senses through this technology? The possibilities are intriguing and almost limitless. Whether it will become a boon or a bane for humanity, only time will tell.